Welcome to this screencast. We are looking at justifying our visual identity. So you've created your concept sketch, you've annotated your concept sketch with additional information to help the graphic artist create the image exactly the way you want it. For example, here this one, um, what I really want, this is meant to be a vinyl record. So instead of black text on white background, we want it to be um, black uh, black background with white letters on it. The example I'm showing you here, I've just created it for R094, but I've used the previous spec for the equivalent creator digital graphic coursework. This is what the students had to do. I've highlighted some key elements of a client brief that are relevant to the visual identity. The name of a client is Percussive Progress. They sell vinyl records Key features of their identity are drums and keyboards, and they want to apply a retro approach to this design. There's also a record company that's publishing their work called That Record. So from this, I can create a logo for Percussive Progress. I can create a different logo for That Record. And I've got some information here that I can use when uh, selecting the font for the main title. Here's the concept sketches. And I've got a choice of three IDs for the logos and then four for the logo for Percussive Progress and then different fonts over here. The purpose of this screencast really is to talk about how do you define your design choices because you've got to do that in writing. And what I'm looking for is a linked chain of reasoning. If you are not sure how to write a linked chain of reasoning, a good idea is to use the P paragraph. Now you all know the P paragraph or an equivalent, I mean some, some English teacher may say P law or some other technique. But really if you've got those three different points all linked, you should be fine. For example here, my point is that I'm choosing the record shape logo. And then I'm linking it because that record and the Selvano records. This leads them to choosing to emphasize that aspect of their identity in the logo. There's no right or wrong ideas here. What matters is can you link it back to the client brief? Can you link it back to some design conventions, for example? We'll talk about that a little bit later. And the next document you need to write a justification is for your visualization diagram. And before starting this, I'm going to use some of my annotations for my visualization diagram to make it very obvious that I'm using the planned visual identity. So what I want the moderator to notice is that here is this logo, here's that logo that I've chosen, and then here's my choice of font. I want them to realize that those two design documents are linked. In this visualization diagram, I'm only showing you the visual identity, and then some small elements over here. How am I going to justify this now that I've established I'm reusing the visual identity? Well, I can use some key concepts. For example, here I've got strong line for the front page. So I've got a strong line that would go diagonally across and down from the start of the name of a band all the way down to their logo. And in doing so, they are going to take in um, some key elements of the design that will be in the middle. There will be the, it's called fifth planet from the left, so it will be a space theme, etc. I'm probably going to have um, in the justification for the main image itself, I'm probably going to use the rules of thirds, but I'm talking about the visual identity in here. So I'm using some key concepts, and then here is strong lines so the one going down link diagonally across. For the back page I'm going to justify it by saying that I'm following conventions, maybe the band isn't very well known so they will want to put all the information the audience expect on the back page. So you start with the main title and that will be big enough and with contrasting enough font so that you can read all the information easily. So percussive process will be here, a uh, progress sorry, and then fifth planets from the left then you would have a song list over there, taking most of the space. At the bottom, I've got my small prints, 
and the barcode and to close the back page because this is the back page when you fold the picture I'm closing it by reusing the logo from the record company again what really matters here is can you write a link chain of reasoning linking all those different points together uh, if you have point evidence explained you know you're on the right track I look forward to reading your work use this and best of luck for your coursework